Ryan. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great weekend, folks. The TGIF. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Therefore, others have the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 353, NASDAQ up 192, S&P's up 42. Gold, gold contract up $20.80 at 2,545 an ounce. We have silver up 80 cents, $30.27 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 86, $74.87 a barrel. Notes and bonds, they're on the move. Get the 10 year note up 14 ticks, trading at 113.23. The 30 year up 26 at 124.21 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 808 ticks at 100.7. You got the Euro at 111, the Yen's at 144, and the British Pound is at 132 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the NQs, let's go there first, okay? Because the NQs are weaker than the spy. I suspect we're going to have a, get a sell down coming into this close, and we're just going to see whether it's going to go basically to the highs of the last downdraft, or is it going to crack it? You know, the bottom line is that we have two separate numbers here. We had the first high volume low came in at 10.50, and then that got tested. It got tested with lighter volume, by the way, at, uh, ten, at, at two, 12.40. Uh, so... So on the downside, I suspect we're still going to get to at least the high of that low, which is 591. And we're at 735 right now. Um, I'm not saying the 19,000. So 19,000 with 736, the number would be 17,000, uh, 19,680. Now the bottom is 19,591. We could hit that in a second. Um, there's nothing that says this market wants to go higher. The last, uh, that's four, eight, yeah. So the last 80 minutes, all those bars there, you can see that the volume just died off, period. Died on the volume. We go to the E-minis. We take a look at the E-minis. You're going to see the same type of setup. But the E-minis are stronger than the, the NQs. We take a look at the E-minis. Same type of setup. You know, you can see that there's the first high volume low. And here's the second one. Now the second one on the E-mini has... Uh, 56.21, and we're at 56.40. So, and that is definitely, well, you could, that's not necessarily a high volume. Well, in both cases, at 2.40, we were testing the, or 12.40, we were testing the low that had been established out there at 10.50. Gold, we go to the gold contract. Now, gold, we want to see some more. Volume inside the gold because right now it's about uh, 163,000, 154,000. That's not enough. But the, the cool thing is, is that you pushed away from the breakout, which we had to do. We came down to 2519 out here today and rejected it, and we're at 2546. So now you're starting to move away from this. And in fact, if we go, let's so GC1. I'm just curious what's going to happen here on a weekly chart. Okay, so I bang this on a weekly. Okay, not bad. Well, that's a doji up there, which I'm, it's not cool. But even on a weekly, you're, you're away from this breakout area, man. You're definitely away from this breakout area. So that's saying that, guess what? Higher prices are coming at us. We go to the 10-year note, and we take a look at the note market, because the market is way ahead of Powell and the rest of the Fed. You know, what you have out here now, what's happening is that we have volume coming in the 10 today, which is great, okay? 2.7, almost 2.8 million contracts. That being said, it's going to need more to, to basically get topside. That's, this is still, you know, after the spike that we got up to that 115, 
um, you know, it's been sideways to down. Right now, the, the 10 year is at 3.799. The high for the last 12 months is uh, 4.99. For the last six months, it's 4.7. The last three months, it's 4.6. Oh, 4.6. Look at that. So this gets interesting. So we've almost come down in one month. No, no, three months. We've come down almost a point. And, of course, what's happening with the Fed, the Fed's still at five to five and a quarter. So it's like, yeah, okay, they're going to come down. Well, hey, yeah, listen, they may come down a half a point. They're going to blow some minds, but they may come down a half a point. Um, you know, because the, the, they're five to 5.25. The 10 is at 3.75. Now, at at 3.75, let's say 3.75, that means mortgages are basically hitting about 6% right now. And the sweet spot, well, we'll find out whether that's the sweet spot. Five and a half and less is going to, you know, open up this market a bit. You know, what has happened out here is that you, you, have, you definitely have buyers that are jumping the gun here. Meaning, because what we did have out here this morning is that in the housing market, the... The demand side of it went up almost 10% in the last month. Uh, let me see this one second. So if I do that, let me get this. Yeah, and that's a big number. Uh, there's no doubt. You're still, we're still dealing with small numbers. That's why 10% rise is pretty easy to do, actually. But bottom line is that you've got to start. And I suspect what we, we are going to see is that you're going to see the aspect of when folks understand that we are on the other side, of the interest rate structure, it's going to make a difference. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, actually Toll Brothers. Let's take a look at Toll Brothers and Lanar. So if we go to Toll Brothers, yep, there you go. Look at this, 670. This is really breaking topside, man. This is breaking all time highs. Look at this. Look at the buys on this this week. This is unreal. Look at that volume, folks. So Toll Brothers is at all time highs. That is wild. Yeah, all-time high today. Lana, let's go take a look at Lana. I guess it makes sense. It's only the beginning of it. We know how this. Yeah, Lana's at all-time highs also. Up five ninety-three. Put this on a longer basis. Yeah. All-time. Wow. Well, all-time highs, man. There we go. Uh, Dow Industrial's up four hundred five. Nasdaq's up two thirty. S&P's up fifty-one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.